All right, what is going on, everybody? Uh, coming at you today with a pickups video. Uh, we are about a week out um, from the national. I wanted to get this pickups video done a long time ago, um, but it's kind of fitting that it's kind of carried into the national, um, just being a week out. And I kept uh, I kept picking up more stuff, so I was like, yeah, I'll do it like tomorrow, and then I'd win something or I'd make a trade or Facebook group, whatever, and. Uh, yeah, I just kept prolonging and kept putting this off as I was picking up more and more stuff. So we've got a stack, a nice stack of about a month's worth of pickups. And I'll be completely honest, um, this this is a loaded pickup video. So yeah, um, you're not going to want to miss this one. And obviously, if you're tuned in right now, you're not missing it. So we're going to get right into it. Uh, starting off with a relic, the only relic that I picked up, uh, so Triple H, War Booty, Raw's War, this old stuff, it's a ring, or a mat relic, this is our official ring mat, Triple H, not numbered, but I'm just a sucker for any of this old stuff, um, that 2000, 2001 Fleer, this is just such an awesome, awesome set, in my opinion, uh, still looking for the Triple H autograph from the 2002 Fleer. I think that'd be so cool uh, to get. It's definitely probably the top of my uh, top of my hit list right now is the Triple H autograph from that 2002 Fleer. Um, Alistair Black. I already have. Uh, Sean and I actually made a deal back in the day. Um, I had or I still have the base autograph, but I found this blue. And the blue being a nice upgrade. And it is numbered out of 50. Blue being my favorite color. Definitely had to pick that up. And the like this was like a $40, $50 card for the longest time. It's cooled off a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely happy to pick that one up. Uh, Candice LeRae Auto, first NXT. Uh, super happy to get that one too because I did not have one of her. It's just the base, but that's fine. Fits in nicely with the one of PC. She has like kind of like a weird autograph, but. Um, and then another one did not have one of her. So Ember Moon, blue, of course, out of 25. This is from the 2017 women's back when it was just a fat, clear pack in the blasters. Nice card there. Uh, some older stuff. There's a lot of older stuff in this. Uh, I don't know what this stupid sticker is. I was too lazy to put everything in the magnetics, as you guys can probably tell. I also need to order more of the 35-point magnetics, but... Uh, Tori Wilson, autograph from Heritage 3. They also have, like, the... Like, some of the stuff is, like, in a chrome version, some of the cards. Um, but yeah... Didn't have a Tory Wilson auto. I might upgrade that. I just wanted to get one. I might upgrade that someday. Um, but just wanted to get one in, kind of like I said. And then this card was one that was on my hit list for a long time. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, his longer signature. First NXT card. Or first, yeah, first NXT card. First auto. And, uh, yeah, his longer version of his signature. It is a sticker, but he stayed all on sticker, which I appreciate. That's 33 off 50, and this one came from a face, Facebook group. One of the few deals that I do on there, just because nobody ever seems to want to come through. But every once in a while, just when I think about leaving the Facebook groups, they uh, something good happens. So, And I can't get the sticker off, so that's kind of annoying. I did not pay $15 for this, uh, but Baron Corbin, um, you guys know I'm pretty big on the 2015 Undisputed. And... Uh, just just wanted to pick one of him up uh, for the one of PC. Just the base. Nice autograph. And I wish he wrestled like that and not in, like, a dress shirt. And this I picked up shortly after. <laughs> uh, same set, of course. Picked this, shortly, picked this up shortly after uh, NXT in Connecticut in Bridgeport. Um... Yeah, Tyler Breeze. Like, you almost, like, I don't know, it's crazy. Like, you almost forget, like, how good he was. Or at least I did. 
Um, you know, his runs in W, like his, the fashion police were like cool and stuff, but it's just like, like he forgot how much charisma this guy really has. And uh, glad that at least up until recently in NXT, he uh, got to kind of come back and do it all over again. And it almost just looked like he kind of was like reinvigorated by his, I mean, you were, a lot of guys would look at it as like a, like a demo, demotion, but like, I don't know, for him it was like a promotion just because NXT is so much better. Um, more NXT, Shayna Baszler, uh, from the 2018, um, set. She's got an interesting autograph and then always does the, uh, the spade there. So that's kind of cool. Kind of unique. First NXT, you guys know I like to try to get the first ones. So yeah, Shayna Baszler. Uh, Undisputed. Now we're starting to pick up here a little bit. Uh, so Velveteen Dream, yeah, he's got that crappy checkmark signature, but just had to get one just because it's his first. I really wanted the blue version um, or even the purple because, I mean, but there's only five and they're expensive. But the purple with this design just fits like perfectly with him and his whole, like his gimmick. But so I settled for the base, not that crazy, especially since he just gives that little check mark of a signature. And we've got, so I'll tell you right now, we've got four cards left and it picks up quick. So sticking with last year's Undisputed, uh, the triple autograph of the Undisputed Era numbered eight out of 10. I believe, or is that a six? That's an eight. So yeah, Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly. I really, really, really hope that they do a uh, a quad auto in um, this year's Undisputed, even if it's got to be in a book form. I just think that would be sweet. Definitely pumped to get that one. And then I had the Auto 25 version of this one, and I had to upgrade to the gold just because of the... The gold color scheme with Undisputed Era, the black and yellow gold, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just the difference between, like, and I thought the out of 25 of this was a sweet looking card, but the out of 10 is literally just insane in person. I hope it comes off that well. And I just now noticed that this is also <laughs> 8 of 10. So we've got a little 8 of 10. Um, they numbered these ones on the front. So we got a little 8 out of 10 thing going on with the Undisputed Era triples. And then these next two cards, going back to the kind of the older theme. Um, Matt's going to give me a lot of shit for this one, but I think even he might think it's cool just because it's older. Uh, Stephanie McMahon Helmsley, and you'll never see her sign like this ever anymore. Um, but this is from uh, 2001... Diva's private signings. That's the insert set. I don't know what the product that it was in was called. It might have even just been called that. Um, so yeah, WWF, the good old days, 2001. Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. Uh, this was very high up on the uh, on the target list for me to get, and it is in the collection. So and it's not leaving. And then last card is a card that I wanted for a very, very long time. I almost pulled the trigger a few times. Um, like with many of the cards of my PC, I always seem to find a good deal. And so it is graded. I'm going to actually crack it out, though, um, because I don't care for graded cards at all that much, to be honest, as you guys know. Like, if it, I mean, if it's your thing, it's your thing. But for me, it's, it's just not... Um, I would rather just it being a magnetic. So we'll kind of do like a slow reveal here. Yeah, boy. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin 316 signature. He doesn't sign like that anymore. It is an 8.5, so we'll check out the subgrades. We got a 9.5 on the centering, an 8 on the corners. 8.5 on the edges and a 9.5 on the surface. So I'm going to crack this out. I would, if it was a 9.5, I would crack it out too. Um, the 8.5 doesn't bother me because that's near mint. I mean, that's like 
almost average, I guess. Um, an 8.5 isn't going to increase value, but it might not, it'll maybe hurt it just a tad, maybe not even, just depends. Um, but for me, none of that matters because it's getting cracked and just going into a magnetic for the PC. 10 on the autograph, and then the other plot, I mean, I doubt that there's a lot of fakes of these. Um, but the fact that it's graded helps you know that it is like legit and not some, cause I know some of the earlier stuff, there was concerns about fakes and that kind of thing. And it's hand numbered out of 500. So 140 out of 500. And, uh, this is definitely one of my favorite cards that I now own. Yeah. So we're going to crack this out and I'm probably going to do that in a separate video. Just call it like a cracking, uh, cracking a BGS slab or something like that. So be on the lookout for that video. I'll show you guys how I crack these um, the safest way, the way that's always worked for me. I've never damaged a card doing it. Not that I've done it a ton of times, but um, there's a pretty easy way to do, go about doing it. And I'll show you guys that in the next video. Um, probably, probably before the national, hope to get that done and get this bad boy freed and into a nice magnetic so it displays well um in my collection so yeah other than that not a whole lot going on busy with work uh summertime so enjoying the summer the nice summer weather that we get in michigan for about a month <laughs> um but then yeah like i said next week we've got the national and i am super excited gonna get to meet pico for the first time i'm um, gonna get to meet officially meet nightmare 10 phil for the first time um we bumped into him in new orleans but it wasn't really like it was just in passing it wasn't like we met or talked or anything like that and then um of course the lorenzo's are going to be there sean of course is going to be there um so yeah it should be a really 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 good time as always last year was a blast just checked our video from last year. It's got like 9,000 views, so thanks for all the support. Uh, we'll definitely be vlogging again. Um, go check out Nightmare 10. He's going to be vlogging. The Lorenzos, of course. Uh, Pico, I hope he vlogs. Hope he gets something up on the channel. Uh, miss his vlogs from back in the day. So that's going to do it. We're going to end it on. We're going to end it on this bad boy. So, yeah, be on the lookout for the uncracking of the BGS slab here and then our national vlogs. And then fingers crossed that in two days the undisputed checklist drops because that means that it would be out the Wednesday for national and we can have some fun kicking ourselves in the balls, ripping undisputed packs. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.